what's up youtube it's yanni and this is one yanni tv so today we are coming to y'all from the park y'all we are on a walk our baby is a month today we didn't say our baby name but happy one month to him that sweet man he's actually sleeping right now in the duna but we got my sister here she's going for a walk with us y'all it's so freaking sunny if you're from Arizona, you know you get real nice. And it's nice today. I'm so happy that our baby is a mother. She's so cute. Thank you. And I, oh. Javon, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even here. He got to put a horn on that. <laughs> that nigga know. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. For what? Good yes, yes. Y'all, I'm, I'm just so obsessed with my baby. I don't even care what they talk about. <laughs> I'm thinking he's one month. <laughs> but yeah, we outside. My baby like going outside, so this is the perfect day on his one month birthday. I wanted to make him a cake. Swallow the me like I was crazy, even though he's not gonna be able to eat it. I still gonna make him a cake. It's cool. But yeah, y'all. That's what we doing. Let me show y'all him. Just kidding. <laughs> I know y'all probably look back at the screen for that one, but it's okay. I'm going to get back to y'all once we find somewhere to sit and enjoy the breeze. The fishies, guys. Wow. And then this one. Wow. Yeah, these are big ass fish. They actually out here catching these fish too, y'all. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, look at all the baby oh. fishies. You're so cute, you're so little. Our kid was woke. <laughs> He's not. Look at his dad. Say hi, dad. Wow. Hi. Hi, fishy. Hello. Okay, there's your friend right here. Okay, they're going to. Wow. Okay, y'all, so we actually did just have a little mini photo shoot just to commemorate the fact that our baby is one month today. Erin has him. <laughs> she's so excited that she holding him, y'all. She be, she be scared. <laughs> but she's doing so good. And then there's Tawan. I'm really loving it out here, y'all. It's so pretty. It's so many people. The vibes are immaculate. Love that, love that, love that, love that. But yeah, y'all, we're gonna get back to enjoy the outside. Look at how happy Erin is. Y'all, look at her. I'm trying to zoom in. Hater. <laughs> My camera's a hater. That's okay, though. We're gonna get back to our walk. Hello, y'all. It is a new day. It is a new day. It is a new day. So today we did um, want to just start the vlog because we are going to give y'all an update of what our one month appointment went like when it came to our time. So just stay tuned. We are currently out to eat right now, making sure that we get some food in our system. We are at our restaurant, Native. If you're from Arizona, you will know. Our son is hungry. But he's sleeping. So we're going to get back to y'all once I pull in here. What's up, y'all? So it's some days later, actually. And at this moment, I am actually headed to go and get my nails done. So my mother in law sent me some money and she told me just, you know, do something nice for yourself. So I'm going to be going to get my nails done but y'all i don't know how i feel because it's my first time like going to do something for myself since i've had our baby and i don't know it feels a little like it feels bittersweet but i can honestly tell y'all I don't, I'm not worried about our son. Also, I'm pumping right now, so just ignore that sound. Um, I'm not worried about him at all because he's, he is really, really good with his dad. And if y'all ever 
like if y'all ever watch our um we about to start going live on tiktok and stuff so follow us on tiktok but some of the videos that i have and i'm about to post in my drafts you will see our son really loves his dad like really loves his dad he loves his mama and he's playing you with me but he the same way with his daddy and i love that because i he recognizes us now so i could go i could leave the room and he'd be like oh my daddy here you know and i think it's a really good thing that he doesn't have a bond like that because i feel like a bond like a, a father's love is really really important like a bond a father's bond with their child is important because to see them like that it be making me emotional it don't make me want to get him another one but it makes me emotional <laughs> um so i'm actually headed to the bank i'm gonna get talk to y'all when i get to my appointment just because i want to make sure that you know i'm documenting to do for myself and also filling y'all in because we are going to be doing a you know a one month update later on today of our baby and tell y'all how he's doing so let's do that but okay y'all so i have made it to my appointment i have a short nail y'all because you know i'm a mom um right now everything y'all i really love it here really really love it here but I'm about to go pour his milk, so I'm back with y'all once I do that. So y'all, I got his bottle. He is currently drinking four and a half. He is a month, but I got his first bottle. And now we're about to get back to my appointment. And also y'all, I'm using the, the Mom Cozy, the portable is S12 Pro. Get y'all this. Now y'all know when it comes to customer service, it's a 10 out of 10 right now. Listen, we got Netflix going. Netflix. Netflix. I don't know if the bar just, I don't know if the bar just there for me right now because of past, but listen, love it here. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna update y'all once I get finished because I'm doing shorties. They're gonna be cute though, so just watch y'all. What's up, y'all? As y'all see, we are together. We're about to do our sit down for our one month update of our son. Oh, being parents. Okay. Uh, so, so far, I say this month, it got a little easier because we did a one week update. So, I say it got a little easier because now we know we're doing a little bit more. We know him a little bit more, a lot of bit more. <laughs> yeah. It's a, um, I feel like this month has shown us so much, but let's take it back to updating y'all as we stated that we were going to do when we were at the doctor, after we were leaving the doctor. So our son is one month now and for his one month, as y'all seen, we went to the park, we walked around the park, we gave him that experience because he really do like being outside. He loves it. He loves being outside. Um... So we, we took him outside. That's what you know he likes, so we did that. Um, and then we took him to the doctor and they told us that he was 11 pounds and he is 23 and a half inches. We think he's 24. We, we know he's 24, because he's scrunched up. We know he's 24. The, the lady just <clears throat> kept that because he was looking comfortable, honestly. He's 24 inches. Um, and they said that he's in 98 percentile. So that's, that mean our baby is 90, he's taller than 98 percent of the babies that's one month right now with him. Yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't look his age. Like he look, how old you say he look? You look like a one month No, nah, he look like a one year old, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah. Don't he, he, his height, his, nah, his height and stuff, like he do look like a little, a one year old. Um, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm exaggerating. Mean, <laughs> no, I really do. I really do like he's six months, but yeah, he was really one months. month. Um, he like a six month old, but he's really one month. 
and he healthy they said that everything is good he's very strong he's very alert as the doctor said he know how to roll over yeah. he know how to hold himself up he does tummy time very very well um and you know like he be trying to talk but <laughs> All in all, I just feel like our baby is really, 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 really precious. And like, that's my prize and my pride and joy, my most prized possession because I, we made him with so much love. We made him out of love, you know? So we did love him so much. And watching him grow was really becoming something more emotional, not as emotional as it was in the beginning. <laughs> because I used to cry just looking at him. <laughs> I got my shit together. <laughs> she got to now she a crowd like now she only crowd like something wrong with him like you choking or something. Yeah, cause our baby he is breastfed, so like he tries to get He greedy. Every <laughs> He greedy. <laughs> he try to get everything. Like he don't he don't let nothing slide. And he's actually drinking, as y'all seen in the video, four and a half ounces. So I, I pumped while I was at my appointment just so I could make sure he had more milk when I came home. Even though he has milk that I pumped already, I just wanted to make sure that he was still taken care of even though I was out of the house. And he was with Twat. Yeah. But yeah, I bet he is greedy. I would just say, like, we just enjoying the process and enjoying being parents. Because it really is fun, though. Yeah. Like, our baby is funny. Like, I don't know how, but it's like, you know how personalities and character is something that makes you a person our baby got a lot of personality and a lot of character and he is really funny like really something from mocking to his meme mug like his faces his side, of, his side eyes his side eyes something vicious i ain't gonna lie to you he yeah if he look at you like that just back the fuck up because he is not messing with it but I think he's a lot more precious now because you know he's smiling and stuff. Like he was smiling before, but now it's like he will look at he will know he will look at us, but it really be his daddy. He will look at one of us and he will just start smiling, just start like reaching. It's like he really man. Like early, I was looking at him, and I smiled in his face. He's like he smiled back. Yeah. I'm like yeah. So we think he gonna walk early. We think he gonna talk early. We just think he really advanced. Like he do be trying. He do be. Yeah. He do be trying to talk. Like he be saying little stuff. He be. He be saying little stuff. That's why I be like, okay. But that I think that that coincides with how we move around the house. So within this first <clears throat> month, our son doesn't really hear a lot of baby talk for the most part. Like is, I I just think the cute talk don't really help a baby to like yeah. register what you're saying. So like. When we're when he upset, we'll talk a little bit calmer for him. But like usually, this is how he hear us talk. Like, oh, we're changing your diaper, or let's go in, let's go in the living room, or do you want to go outside? Like stuff like that, because like, we want him to understand what he's doing, so that when he does get to an age where he's registering and understanding what we're saying on a more memorable level, he know like, okay, yeah. if I say yeah to this, then they gonna do this, you know. <laughs> Or if I react to this, then they're going to do this, you know? And I think that it really do go hand-in-hand hand with the fact that our baby, he's so easy going. Yeah. But when he unhappy, he unhappy. And I just... <laughs> He'll let it be known. <laughs> For sure. I really, I really try to get it before he get there because... No. <laughs> it's a thing between us. We like, don't let him holler. Because once he get to holler... He's not gonna stop. Oh, yeah. He's not gonna stop. Like we work as a team to get him not to holler because them is levels to this shit. Yeah, once and he gets <laughs> screeching, it's over. He's not going to sleep. He don't want to talk. No. He don't want to be touched. He just wants you to hurry up, figure what the fuck I want, figure out what I want now, or it's gonna be more beef. And I don't like beef with my baby. He is so sweet. Like and nine times out of ten, it's for you. Like our baby really, our baby really love food, and I ain't gonna lie. It at first I was kind of worried because he had jumped from two ounces to four. I thought for a second that was that wasn't right. Like I was like, I don't know if this is right because maybe he just need more because he cluster feeding, but it really wasn't. He really needed that four ounces. <laughs> he needed the four ounces in that one setting because that's what he was eating, but. 
he healthy. They, the doctor not worry about it, so we don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. But I just feel like this first month has really been something special. Yeah. And I think it's gonna be fun to keep learning him. We're not gonna do these monthly, every day, yeah. every month updates. It's just like we just want to update y'all because we did one week, so one month. Because this is our first child, as y'all know. Yep. <laughs> first time. That's crazy. He really got a child. Yeah. And he's really so cute. Yeah. Damn. And we ain't even told y'all, like, we ain't put the video out of how we found, how we found him and stuff. Because we recorded that. I think we should put it into a short. And then just do it like that. Yeah, because us, like, our reaction, it was, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I was shocked. That day was crazy. I was shocked. I don't know. I feel like we should put that whole video out on like us, how we handled it. Just so people can see like from the beginning, they wasn't worried. But ours, I said this my whole pregnancy. Our son is always gonna know that he was wanted. He was he was not a mistake. Like we wanted him just, you, you know, like. <laughs> He wasn't, he, no, he, wasn't he wasn't he wasn't a mistake, but he wasn't on purpose. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't playing. He came in like he we wanted him right. so bad. And we got him. And now that we got him, he loves us so much. And it just makes me so emotional. And I'm not gonna cry because I'm not emotional about him loving us. I'm emotional about the fact that we have a kid <clears throat> that's so cute and loves us. <laughs> so I got a question. Mm-hmm. Because everybody always talk about the glitz and glamours of being a parent. Do you ever get frustrated? Yeah, I, I think I get frustrated mainly because our dynamic in the house, like how we communicate, he's not able to do that yet. And I think I get frustrated about that and like a little bit upset. And I can, I can honestly say like, ugh, I'm gonna cry. Ugh. I feel guilty when it's like, when, I'm, when I get like that. Because like, the baby so it's like she don't understand but i also understand that that frustration do come with being tired or being like overwhelmed with the fact that your baby is overstimulated too and you overstimulated so i just feel like that's the part that don't nobody talk about like don't nobody talk about yeah. everybody be on the internet everybody be glorious and making shit seem like it's just so perfect and i can honestly say in our household it, for the most part, it do really be that because our baby is our baby works yeah. with us. Like, calm, baby. like he works with us and he allows us to like figure it out with him before he gets to that point. But it's like if you let's be fucking realistic, it's a baby. Babies don't know how to talk. Babies don't know how to say anything. Like I know, Tawan knows what our baby needs because we listen to his cries. We listen to what he's actually trying to say. Cause he actually do be trying to talk. Like when he's up, when he is crying, when he is upset, he tries to relay what he's saying. Like even if it's just like in a different pitch or like what he actually need. But that's not always the case for everybody. And I feel like people should like people should really take a second and like understand that you don't have to be perfect when it comes to parenting. You do not have to be perfect when it comes to parenting. You just gotta continue to figure this shit out, even when you feel like you're overwhelmed. You want to give up. That's what parenting really is. And my in my ass. And that's all I like. That's that's really all I can say. Like when it comes to, it's not glitz again. It's not glitz and glamour. You don't have to be perfect. You just gotta continue to figure shit out, even when you want to give up. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, like you said, I be getting frustrated at the point like we not getting as much. Well, I'm gonna speak for me. We well, I'm just saying yeah, we not getting as much sleep as we did. You feel me? Like all uh, he do know how to do is cry. That's his only way of communicating, and it's just like I'm the I'm a type of person like I want to resolve things right then and now, so I just want you to tell me what's wrong, and he can't do that. So it is just like damn, just like figuring out what he need right then and now. What else about the sleep part? <laughs> I will not lie. <laughs> the first couple of weeks, him not sleeping was a lot for me because. I'm postpartum, I'm still healing, I'm still trying to, you know, get myself back together. But I understand that 
our son not sleeping isn't because he's uncomfortable. If he's not sleeping and we're not sleeping because he trying to get us uh he trying he was trying to get us acquainted with him early. And I can honestly say like the first two weeks, he like, this is what we're gonna do because now we sleep. We sleep. <laughs> it's more so he he just getting adjusted to the world. Mm-hmm. Cause his sleep schedule was reversed. Like I heard somebody say, I think it was one of the nurses or something. Like during the day you walk in, so you rock him to sleep. Mm -hmm. Then at night you steal, which is waking him up. So that's why he used to move at night. So we're just him figuring out day and night. Yeah. Like I sleep at night and I'm up during the day. Like that. But now it's the reverse. Like he know, like he be sleep. I baby be knocked out. Where he at right now? knocked out like yeah. and he comfortable but i i also want to i also wanted to ask you do you think that you could have done anything to be better prepared for having a kid besides having another kid no what <laughs> <laughs> no i think I think, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think the first kid everybody is unprepared because mm -hmm. you don't know what to expect so I don't think it's nothing I could have did to be more prepared. Yeah. Because it's more so you learn as you go. What about you? I'm on the same page. I just feel like all of the... I wish I would have just stayed away from all of the stories on, like, other people raising their kid because every child is different. Like, I can honestly say, like, people be like, oh, read this book. It's going to give you more insight or read this. But it's like... Me and, me and our kid have been connected since the womb. So I can honestly say everything that I have watched or that I have read or that I look up on Google, I already know the answer to because me and our child is connected. Like, this is my kid. Like, I carried you. I know what you're trying to tell me. So it's like, I'm, I, I, I just feel like you can't really prepare for it. Have people be trying to make it seem like you got to prepare for it. You just got to be ready when the time do come and when your child do come into the world. You got to hit that switch and be like, okay, it's time. It's time! <laughs> How do you think he like his living situation? As again, his parents and his house? And no, I ain't going to lie. I also love it here. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely do. He loves it here. Like he wake up, he he wake up for food, but once you're done with that food, he be smiling, he be in your face, he be like, What are we doing next? Like he's very I don't know, like I just feel like he's comfortable with us, like and not in no like oh I gotta be like our baby literally will chill with us and just be like yeah, What's up, like, gang? <laughs> everybody we call they be like he so calm, he like he attentive. Cause he be looking around like he be looking like he be like, like he'll look dead at you. Like yeah, he's real. very alert. Very, very alert. That's what his doctor said too at his one month appointment. Uh, he was like, oh, he's alert. Yeah, he be yeah, he's, saying. Yeah. And he be so happy. Like, he's a really, really, like, I just feel like he know his living situation is good. Like, he know if I cry, they ass gonna get up and figure it out. Like every time, and I think I think he I think when it comes to having our baby and having a baby in general, assurance is very very important. Even if your baby don't know what. There you go, right now. What's going on? Um, I don't get to. When it comes to his sleep, he be adjusting. Oh, that's what it is, but. Yeah, last night that's why I'm beginning to sleep either. Like, cause last night I just want to make sure he stays asleep, like for real. So whenever like he, like, cause babies they do this thing where they just like adjust, <laughs> but you would think they're waking up, so he'll move. And he like, eh. but whole time he's still asleep. But sometimes he'll wake up, and then all you need to do is put his pacifier in his mouth to just soothe him. Yeah. So last night I was just staying up for that. Cause he like being a bonus. He clean. <laughs> he like he like context. Dude. At first it was just with me, and I was both of us. Cause he.
He hungry. Hi, mommy, baby. Hello. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Eat that, boy. Mommy, 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 Yeah. Alright y'all, so he said we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> but alright y'all, that comes to the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. You got anything to say? Stay tuned because we're gonna be revealing his name! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be revealing his name, his face. Yeah, that's about it. But y'all not gonna see too much of him though, cause yeah. His peace and his serenity is what we strive to maintain, so we gonna have that. Yeah. So until next time. Yeah, let me get that bonnet.